What's going on my fellow DC Universe and Marvel fans, GCDC here, and today I will be reviewing the new 52 Futures End comic series, so far at least. There are spoilers in this video, so if you don't want nothing spoiled, then get out! Otherwise, enjoy! So when I say Futures End, I mean just Futures End. I don't mean Aquaman Futures End or whoever else they made already. They are pretty much making every superhero have their own Futures End series now. I don't know if these are continuations from their previous New 52 series, and now it's going to show their downfalls from Brother Eye or not. It would be really cool if that's the case. However, let's get started. So issue number zero shows in the beginning some of the heroes and villains of the Justice League. And they are all older now. And they show Flash right off as an old man, pretty much. And he's running from something that everyone else is running from. He is running from the Justice League. That's right, the Justice League. If you guess that he's if you guessed that he's running from them because they have turned into evil cyborg creatures that are trying to turn everybody into what they are, then you would be absolutely correct. So the time period is in the future. Obviously. And Brother I has taken over. Now we don't know who started this, however we get the idea of who did later on in the series. So the Justice League has been turned into these creature look-alike cyborgs. They look a lot like something from the movie Virus with Jamie Lee Curtis, if you've ever seen it. Or I guess you can compare it to Cyborg Superman. Now when I say Cyborg Superman, I meant the famous Cyborg Superman, you know, the villain that is really famous from Superman. Not the Superman Cyborg in Future's End. Yeah, that one looks totally different, trust me. But yeah, even the cyborgs infected Superman and turned him into a slave of Brother Eye. What the cyborgs do is find the weakness in whomever they are about to infect. Then they all and then all they have to do is plant something inside them, and in a minute, they start turning into cyborgs. It actually looks pretty hype the way they do it. Because the artwork and detail in the page art is actually really, really nice. So much detail into everything they put in the page. Nothing is dull about it. Maybe the story, because after issue zero. The story kind of drags on. So continuing on, the Justice League just storming after everyone. Everyone is pretty much doomed, and the only person that escapes is Batman Beyond. He is pretty much supposed to be the savior of the series, and of course, who helped him escape? Our most famous hero, Batman. Bruce Wayne Batman, that is, in that matter. Batman sacrifices himself to send Batman Beyond back to the past, to find and stop the person who is responsible for the reign of Brother Eye. He is sent back um, 25 years from the current year where everything went to hell. And as we saw it in issue 0. And on his way to the past, he dealt with a random cyborg that was the shape of what you would think Medusa looks like. During that wormhole back to the past. And he couldn't just leave it in some dumpster after he, you know, destroyed it once he got to the past. So he grabbed it in a, sh so he grabbed it, putting it in a shopping cart, and covered it up with some trash bags and disguised himself as a homeless man. Another main character we have is Grifter. His power is to pretty much see aliens, which means he can see the other Earth people, heroes and villains. You know, like the Earth 2, which came from Earth 1 and the Earth 2 war. Now, the story really kind of jumps from place to place a lot during the series. We see the Justice League here and there. And we see the cyborgs here and there as well. But not really. Frankenstein... Now, there's part where Frankenstein and a couple of people who are with him, such as Hawkman. Yeah, the famous Hawkman. Hawkman is with him because Stormwatch was destroyed and he was the lone survivor of it. Frankenstein, Frankenstein's arm was cut off during when he went to the Phantom Zone, I believe, with a couple of the his crew. And Black Adam, I believe it was, chopped it off. Yeah, he saw like the Phantom of Black Adam in there. And they found Hawkman unconscious and they cut off one of Hawkman's arms and put it and like sewed it I should say on Frankenstein where his arm was but now it's not well he 
the nth metal is what they call it on sub on a Hawkman's suit. It actually, you know, made him stronger in a way, and it's actually he it like really now he can control the hand. So this nth metal plays an important part later on. And because of the nth metal, since it heals, it even gave Hawkman's arm back when he woke up. The reason why it plays an important part is because they are wondering if it's going to bring Frankenstein back to life, if it can heal so well. They get this idea because Frankenstein had actually fallen asleep and dreamt, which he explains that he hasn't done that in over 200 years. He dreamt about the cyborgs in the future. He woke up screaming, afraid, and shocked. He tells the rest of the crew that he's with, and they get the idea that it may be true, because the first cyborg appeared before them. But it wasn't hostile. She talks about Brother Eye to them, and they find out they are in Brother Eye's ship, which happens to look like a lot like a planet. That's how big it is. They are being held captive in it. So like I said, how the comic series seems to jump from place to place a lot. Now we go to Mr. Terrific, who is one of the smartest brains in the DC Universe. He looks at Batman Beyond in his homeless man disguise. He doesn't know it's Batman Beyond. Oh, and by the way, Alfred, they put like dots, like periods in between every letter. So meaning it's kind of like artificial intelligence, Alfred. So Alfred has been talking to Batman Beyond as a computer, kind of, in his suit, and told him that terrific, that terrific tech is where he needs to go. So as he's been walking around the premises, Mr. Terrific sees him and sends people to get him. When Batman Beyond flees, he leaves behind the cyborg, and Mr. Terrific gets his hands on it. He's never seen that type of technology, he says that it's way beyond him. And then we start to see him talking to what seems to be Brother Eye later in the series. This is where we start to think that here comes the end of the world. And the reason why is because we think that since he captured this cyborg that Batman Beyond brought with him on his way to the past where they where he is now, and now he's talking to Brother I, and he's one of the smartest guys in the universe. He wants to change the world. So this is where we think that he is the reason why everything, well, I should say the future is what it is. And just a random thing here. The funny thing is that it always goes to Grifter and the people who he's with once in a while. And one person happens to be another famous DC Universe villain, or should I say assassinator that's with him, Slade Wilson, aka Deathstroke. And there's this little girl that's supposedly not a little girl, it's actually like some other guy inside a little girl's body. And this girl is so crazy with her powers, even the almighty Deathstroke doesn't even want to mess with her. He doesn't even want to talk smack to her because of what she can do. So... I'm not going to go into every detail. I know it may seem like I was, but I'm just giving the mains. The rest is for you guys to enjoy if you decide to read this comic series. I really recommend reading it. It's really interesting and fun to read, and the artwork, like I said, is great. It comes out weekly, so you get to read a lot of it quick. So far, it has 17 issues, soon to be 18 on Wednesday. And because, yeah, that's when the comics come out every week on Wednesday. So, I really hope you enjoyed this review on New 52 Features Zen. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you later in my next review. And I think I'll be doing it either on, like I said, Avengers, Earth Mightiest Heroes, the show... Or I actually might be doing it on New 52 Red Lanterns, the volumes. Also, I was thinking about maybe doing a, you know, who would win kind of subject. Like, I'll have my reviews, and then I'll have these videos where I get two guys, and then whatever two guys you guys may want me to do, or whoever I decide would think would be cool to do. 
I'll probably do comparisons and I will, you know, try to see who would match up the best and who, in my opinion, would win. So see you later next time, guys.